With me now is Professor Jane Dacre, who is president of the Royal College of Physicians. Hello to you. Hello. So what do you think, what are some of the major challenges which are facing physicians in 2017 and are things getting better or worse? I think the major challenge at the moment is morale. I think that life out there in the NHS is very difficult. People are working extremely hard, they feel as if they have inadequate resource and they're feeling as if they're perhaps not being valued, not being supported, not being motivated in the job that they do. Is it getting worse? They say that it is. They tell me that it's, this winter has been the worst winter that they've seen. So why are services so stretched? What are the, some of the main reasons? We've done a lot of work looking into the evidence of this and it's fairly simple. The NHS is underfunded, underdoctored and overstretched. And we have chapter and verse that shows that that's the case compared to what it used to be like. And people feel quite miserable trying to work in that situation. So how has the Royal College of Physicians sort of risen to these challenges and supported physicians over the past year? We've been listening to what our fellows and members say and then promoting the ideas that they come up with and the problems that they have so that the government and the external environment, the media, can be left in no doubt about what the problems are. We've had a lot of discussions about this in our council and we feel that, that we need to, to be quite balanced in what we do so that we're as supportive as possible of the fellows and members because we don't want to make the situation worse but we have to be realistic about speaking truth to power where necessary. And what do you believe, taking a step back, is the general role of the Royal College of Physicians in medicine? Well, we've been setting standards for medical practice for 500 years. However, what's happened recently is that the thing that stopped us from setting high enough standards has been the difficulties that there have been in the NHS. So we have to support our physicians to deliver a good quality service for the NHS in troubled times. If we think about the role of innovation in a 500-year-old organisation, um, how do you keep moving forward? How have things changed over those 500 years? Enormously. So what we like to do is to recognise that we're 500 years old and we build on our heritage to develop our future. So we use what we've learnt from history um, and continue to contribute to the healthcare environment. And, and that's by representing and supporting the physicians that work with us through education and training, but also increasingly through policy and media work to make sure that people are aware of the work that we're doing. So 2018, next year, is the 500th anniversary of the organisation. What does it mean and how are you marking it? Well, it's an extraordinary achievement. Every time I talk to somebody externally, they say, I can't believe that you're 500 years old. We were actually set up. Uh, by Henry VIII, by Thomas Lineker, who was in the court of Henry VIII, and that's mind-boggling. So we're very proud of that legacy. But at the same time, we are a vibrant, forward-looking organisation. So what we'll be doing is capturing the past and celebrating the past, but moving it on to make sure that we can articulate and see the essential role that physicians will play in any healthcare system of the future. And that means being open to changing the way that we do things. Now, what can delegates expect from the annual conference this year? It's going to be really exciting. We're in a new venue. We've got more people than we've ever had before at the conference. But we're also adding a little bit of a political component so that we've got a health minister coming along and people will have an opportunity to hear the view from the Department of Health. Do you think that'll be a stormy ride? I don't think he'll have a stormy ride. We physicians are very polite, but I think that he will need to recognise that we come from different angles on this. Although the Department of Health is clear that they've put more money into the health service and more, there are more doctors and nurses than ever before, we on the front line feel that it's very difficult to achieve these standards of care because the patients are sicker, more complex and there are more of them. And what do you say to people considering medicine who, who just see all the headlines? I mean, what do you say about to promote it as a profession? Well, people go into medicine because they want to help people, because they're a bit scientific, and because they like to promote the causes of health amongst the population. Those of us that do it love it. We think that medicine is brilliant, um, and we recognise 
what made us go into medicine in the first place. The patients are still there, the relationship with your patients is sacrosanct and is still fantastic and the best buzz that you can get out of any career, whatever's going on externally. Well, Professor Jane Dacre, thank you very much. Thank you.